I want to get off my chest right now talking about the loss of Spencer Dinwiddie to the New Jersey Nets. It is a huge impact for a guy that's a borderline all-star, sixth man of the year. He plays a guard position, point guard, shooting guard. He can create for himself. Um, if anyone remembers, um, what's his name? Uh, Roy. Brandon Roy from the uh, Portland Trailblazers back in the day. Not at that same level, but similar I think he has a little bit more speed than Brandon. He was that type of player before, as far as creation. He was another head. Now, some may say Kyrie is enough. I understand that Kyrie and Durant may be enough to take you there. But what a huge impact because I was considering them to be a big four. And the number four was, yes, number four was Mr. Spencer Dinwiddie. Now they're locked in with Karis LeVert, Durant, and Irving as the big three. And people seem to brush off the repercussions of losing Dinwiddie with the ACL injury. There's a possibility, because it's a partial tear, that Dinwiddie can come back within five or six months. Remember, the season started later, so the playoffs start a little bit later. Talking about maybe, I think, is it June, July time frame? We'll be seeing the playoffs in the NBA. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. However, we look at the loss tonight. Not a big deal, right? There's there's millions of games to be played, but we got to talk about it, man. We got to talk about it. I think there's an impact to Dinwiddie being gone, and let's take a look at this game. Roll through the stats real quick. On the Hawks side, I mentioned the depth there, and I mentioned uh, it's going to be tougher than to make it, but they have all the pieces. If they can get to Jelen, they can get to Magic. It looks like early on they're starting to gel. But remember, it's still early on in the season. The key point of contention is they, they're they still playing their young guys. So I love to see that, and I love the coaching to allow these young guys to continue to grow. So what I'm trying to say here is coach has not got a few, what's his name, Bajan Bajanovic. There's a couple guys they got. Um, uh, Rajon Rana was another dude. And they have one more. The thing was Danil Ganilari, who looks, who looks appears to be out, but it hasn't stifled them at this time, uh, as far as letting the young guns play, and that's going to help them, right? If you if you can get those old heads to play off of the bench, I think it's beneficial, and I think that's better for this team in the long run to have them coming off the bench, the young guys giving you the full head of steam, They're, them being the big 93 octane and the bench guys coming in here and there if you need some you know 91 or 89 octane. So with that said, Hunter, 23 points tonight. John Collins, 20. Capella, 12 and 11. Expected. That's what I expect to see from him and, and not much higher in points. Trey Young, 12, 7, and 5. Definitely strong creator. Be advised of that. Lord God, what a dunk. I mean, I'm watching on the screen here. John Collins is such an athlete. Uh, Cam Reddish, 12 and 7. I need more from Cam. I, I think he has more in him. Banyan Badanovich has 7. Hill, 6. Solomon Hill, that is. And then Kevin Herter, 10 points. I love Kevin Herter. Brandon Goodwin got some burn, scored 3. They're not playing uh, Bruno Fernando and Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Skyler Mays, who I think, if given the time, could be exciting. Uh, hasn't got the minutes yet. Again, it, it, with, with Rondo out, we may see more minutes from him. Uh, but I definitely like Skyler. But but big improvement from what I'm seeing is 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 DeAndre Hunter. He's doing things that I thought Cam Reddish would do, and that's what makes him uh, exciting. Uh, all right, so let me go to the other side on the next side. Okay, Durant scored 28 and eight. I didn't look at the I didn't look at the full contention of uh, field goal percentage. I bet it's pretty bad. J uh, Mr. J. Harris, the guy that signed a big contract, did his thing, but it's did his thing in pain, right? Um, he, he scored 12 points, seven rebounds. He's surprising me in a lot of ways. He's doing a lot more than just shoot the three ball. I thought it was a little bit expensive, but he's starting to prove me wrong. And some of the things he's able to put together. Um, so, you know, I may be wrong on the kid, right? I mean, I definitely may be wrong on this kid and he has more to offer than just shooting the three ball. Deandre Jordan, eight and five. He's starting, uh, Kyrie Irving, 18 and 11, tremendous game. On the rebound and another guy that's surprising me, but look look at the problem here, right? The problem is who the hell's assistant right here, man? Who's passing the ball? I mean, that's I mean, it's, it's immediate, it's easy to see who's passing the damn ball. Um, I don't see that. I don't see that with the squad. I think it's a problem, and they need to figure that out. Um, Kyrie, uh, going keep it down bench support. Here goes the impact. It's going to be all avert, right? 
Now, there's a couple guys that can come in and support. Um, I just put a comment out in the in the in the video. Landry Shaman has the opportunity to step in here. He is not a Spencer Dinwiddie at this point. I saw some workouts with him, and I thought he may have been a similar type of player, but the handles don't appear to be there yet because I think I think it's because he's not comfortable. But he's definitely a three point shooter. He had that JJ Redick training. I'm excited for him there. I expect to see bigger things from him. Torian Prince can come in, my friends, and start to make impact. Strong player on Atlanta. If given the minutes, I think once he gets comfortable, he can be deadly. Okay, so there is guys in here that can fulfill Dinwoody, sorta. Right, I think Prince on a different team would have a different role. Maybe a starter. Just just an FYI, Jeff Green, the vet. You know, seven and one, and then they got you know Brown, Chioza, Chioza, another one I love. Um, and then, and then, and then Mr. Perry. Uh, Mr. Perry is a rookie who I'm excited about. There's two guys that they, I'm not going to go into it. They got another rook on the Brooklyn Nets. I know this is a little bit too long-winded, but there's a guy on the Brooklyn Nets. I'm just trying to find his name. He was, he was a, uh, he came out of a lower division college, but I'm telling you, this, this kid was a bastard. You know, when I say a bad comment, that means it's good. You know, he's a bastard, man. And let me let me get his uh let me get his name real quick because I think it's important. He's another guy that can fulfill the small forward spot. And I think I think he has the opportunity. Nick Nick Claxton. So Nick Claxton is a guy who I think hasn't played. I think he's injured. I'm excited to see how they fit him in when he gets back. Um and then you got something something crazy. But you still need a little bit of insurance here. There's a couple guys that they could go get, okay, in my opinion, to fulfill the Dimwitty loss. And I know it's a lot, a lot of minutes available with all the guys they have. They should have somebody to just step up. But let me let me give you some smoke. Gerald Green's available. Alonzo, Alonzo Trier is available. Um, Crawford's available. Mike Beasley's also available. Okay. It's another score. Okay. That's creative. Um, Beasley looks so good in his damn mixtapes, man. Or his, 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 uh, his, you know, his his LA fitness, I shouldn't say that, but his 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 uh his NBA um exhibitions on, on, on the court for in the training facilities. Uh, I just think he belongs on a roster, man. I think if they give him the ball in his hands, he can make some things happen. And I, on that second unit, I don't necessarily see anybody but Chioza and Johnson truly that can just give me the ball, I can create. And and I think that's an opportunity for him. So um, the Dinwiddie loss was huge. The Nets lose tonight. They're going to have to adjust. There is an adjustment, um, but they do have a talent. They still have the talent, yes, to make a lot of noise and win out the Eastern Conference. But I would love to see him pick up a Gerald Green. I would love to see Alonzo Trier get another shot. I would love to see Jamal Crawford back on the court or Michael Beasley. So there's an opportunity there. I'm going to kick off here, man. Step back, kid. Loving basketball, man. House of Highlights. Thank you, God, man. You you keep me going. I'm out of here. Peace.